Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at the Smart Digital Clock by AlphaTech. It also has a hidden camera on the inside. You can't see it, it looks like a clock, and nobody else is gonna know the difference. Let's get right into it. So this is everything in the box. We got our user's guide over here. This is gonna walk you through everything to get this thing set up step by step with the app. We've got a cleaning clock, we've got a power brick, your USB power cord right here. This is an adjustable stand here that you can place the clock on top of if you want to, so you can angle it up and down. And then we've got the smart clock itself. Now the stand itself, simple and straightforward. It just locks into place. You get a little twisty knob down here on the side so then you can adjust the angle and tilt it up or tilt it down so you can get that perfect viewing angle once you get the clock all set up. Coming in for a closer look on the clock, overall we got a real nice minimalist design. It looks like a clock and it is and it functions as one. Nice big screen on the front and if you look closely or try to, you cannot tell that there is a hidden camera in there anywhere. On the back side here, we've got just a simple USB-C port so this does need a power power supply, doesn't have built-in batteries, does not take batteries, so you have to plug that in. But we've got this nice back cover here that keeps everything hidden. Yes, and if you want to take this off, just put a couple fingernails underneath, pry up, and it'll pop right off. And now we have access to the backside right here. If you look closely at the backside, we've got our micro SD card slot right here. Yes, SD card not included, and it's also not required in order to use the camera and do monitoring and recording remotely. But if you are going to use one, just make sure you get one that has a good uh, read and write speed, right? And we'll take a look at how to put that in there in just a second. And then over here, we have our reset button here. So if you ever need to reset the device, make sure that it is plugged into power first. Yes, hold this for a few seconds. Some lights will blink. Give it a few minutes to do the reset, and then you can do the whole reset process and reestablish a connection with this. If you are going to use a micro SD card, all you need to do is take this. We're going to put it printed side facing down, slide it right into the slot like so, and then use your fingernail to press it in and it'll click right into place. Now getting the clock set up is super simple and straightforward with the Tuya app. It's a popular intuitive app with a variety of different smart devices. And once you have the clock set up, then you have remote access anytime anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. So you can add multiple devices here, but we're just gonna go through the clock. We're gonna take a look at the interface here and you can see that the camera turns on great. We've got a nice wide view. Yes, high def image, which is amazing too, and it's in color. Yeah, and we got a few different things that we can look at right here, okay? So if you ever wanna record something, you can hit this record button right here and you can record what you're seeing in real time. Yes, if you wanna hit screenshot, you could do that and you could take a picture, Hi right and then it's going to record that for you right here and all of that right goes right into a photo album and you can open this right here and you can see that i've taken some pictures and videos today right i've done some stuff and some testing here uh, a couple of days ago which is great and you can always go back and replay all of these and swipe through and this is going to be recording directly to your phone but if you happen to be using a micro sd card this thing can record directly to that and you're going to be able to go back and review and replay that so let's take a look at that now. So if we go over here into the playback area, okay, it's going to pop up here and it's going to show you all of your recordings based on date and time, um, depending on where you're at. So if we hit date, we can go back here to the fourth and you're going to see there's a big timeline right here and you can see these little highlighted areas. Yes, where it was triggered, whether that's through motion or if you want nonstop recording, you can do that. So all you have to do is just slide the bar right here. It'll take you to that date and time slot at which the camera was activated, right? Just like here, me jumping on the couch. And then if you wanna export this clip off of the micro SD card, what you can do is you can hit the record button, right? And you're gonna record whatever little section or snippet it is that you want to, or you could take a picture, boom, like this. And then I stop recording, great. Now I'm gonna go back to my photo album. Okay, and you can see right here at the top, yes, we just recorded the sample right here from that video. We could go back and play it again if we want to. Or in the bottom right hand corner, we have a share button. You can hit the share and then you can send it out and share it to social media or send it in an email or however it is that you wanna share it for uh, whatever your purposes are for this. Now, last but not least, we've got our alarm section down here. Yes, you can do this. And if you wanna set up motion detection alarm so that you get push notifications to your phone, right? You can turn it on right here. What is your alarm sensitivity level that you want it to be at? 
low, medium, or high. Sure, why not? Let's make it high, of course. Yes, and then you're good to go. So whenever something triggers or is walking in front of the camera, it recognizes motion, it's gonna send you a notification to your phone, just like it did right there, which is great. And you could tap on that. You can come back here and you can see like what has happened, right? You can go through all of this and you can see what's happening throughout the day, right? So if we go back to one more, let's say on the fourth, right? I got a bunch of alarms that day as I was testing and setting up the camera and you can see what was happening when and where. So it's really convenient. You're gonna have all of that right at your fingertips so that you can do monitoring while you're out on a trip. Maybe you just wanna watch your pets. Maybe you've got like a nanny or a babysitter or maybe you're on vacation and you wanna bring your own special clock just to make sure that nobody, the housekeeper or whatever is going through your stuff, right? You have recordings of that and you know, you have that information and that evidence. So at the end of the day, simple, straightforward, and easy to use and set up, remote access anytime from anywhere in the world. You've got an app that's super easy to use with tons of functionality, and best part of all, it's a clock with a camera, and nobody's gonna know the difference.